Section 4 of our overview is all about what you will learn during the review phase. It's during this time that you reflect on your team's accomplishments. You revisit team challenges, and therefore, you can plan for how to improve. Give yourself permission to not reach the success zone the first quarter or two that you're using my objectives. We actually call this the Goldilocks phenomena. In the first quarter of use, teams typically write too many objectives, and so the value of any given objective is too small, and they don't get the reward, the mental happy juice that comes from seeing the score rise commensurate with the effort put forth. That leads into the second quarter where they write too few objectives, which means that each objective is worth a whole lot of points, and the loss of one objective may mean not hitting the success zone in the period. Then, in the third quarter, they write just the right number of objectives to hit the success zone, and they're starting to love this thing called My Objectives. Let's celebrate success. Reflecting on team accomplishments strengthens confidence that the individuals and the team can achieve what they commit to. It also builds a team track record of succeeding, and therefore makes it easier to take on progressively more challenging work. In the screenshot, you can see how the team's score grows over the course of the quarter and also how the forecast score came down over the course of the quarter. This is completely natural and to be expected. The goal is simply that at the end of the period, the team is in the success zone. It means that the work they planned has been accomplished.